Welcome back guys to another Android tutorial. Today we'll be talking about how to create a custom progress bar by creating a simple application with a progress bar in the middle of the screen and a button at the bottom of the screen. So when clicking on it, it start and stop the animation. If we'll try to start it, as you can see the progress bar is rotating but also its X and Y are scaled. If we try to stop it, you can see it stops. So let's get started. Now the first thing we'll need to do is go into our activity main layout and create two views. The first will be an image view that will contain later on our progress bar. We'll give it a layout width of 0 dp and a layout height of 0 dp. We'll provide constraints to the top, to the end, and to the start. We'll give it an ID of image loading. The second view we'll create is going to be a button. And we're also going to provide it with some constraints. To the bottom, to the end, and to the start. We'll give it an ID of BTN change loading state. And we'll give it an initial text of start. We'll extract it to the string resource file. And we'll create another string resource of stop. Let's extract it as well. And let's change it back to the start. Now let's go back to our image view and give it a constraint of bottom to top. To our button. That's it for our activity main layout. Now we'll need to go to our drawable folder and create a new file. So let's do that. We'll create a new drawable file and we'll call it loading background and we'll set the root element as shape. Now here is where we're going to define the shape that will display as the progress bar. So what we'll need to do is add a shape attribute to our shape tag and set it to a ring. We need to give it an inner radius of 10 dp, a thickness of, in our use case, 7.5 dp, and a use level of false. Now we'll create a gradient tag and we'll give it start color of Android color red, center color of blue, and the end color of green. Now we'll set a type to sweep just so we can see the color a bit more. As you can see the ring isn't looking real nice right now. So what we'll do is tweak with the attributes a little bit. We'll give it an inner radius of 50 dp and a thickness of 6 dp. So that's it for our loading background file. What we'll do next is go to our REST folder and create a new directory called animator. We'll create a new directory and we'll call it animator. We'll create a new file and we'll call it loading animator. In this file, using the object animator tag, we can create certain animation that will be performed on a certain view later on. So let's do that. The first is going to be object animator. We'll give it an attribute of repeat mode, reverse, value from 0, value to 360, repeat count infinite, property name rotation, interpolator will give it an interpolator of linear, 
and the duration will be set to 1000 which means one second that's it we'll create a second object animator and that's going to be for the X scaling so the duration in this case is going to be 500 which means half a second the interpolator is also going to be linear the property name is scale X the repeat count also is going to be infinite the repeat mode in this case is going to be reverse the value from is 1 and the value 2 is 2 we'll just give it a value type of flow type we'll copy that paste it and simply change the property name from scale X to scale while so this object animator is going to be responsible for the rotation of the view this object animator is going to be responsible for the scale X of the view and this object animator is going to be responsible for the scale Y of the view they are all going to happen simultaneously meaning each animation will happen at the same time so the progress bar will rotate scale X and Y at the same time so that's it for the loading animator now let's go back to our main activity in the last step in our main activity we need to do a couple of things the first will be to create global variables to both of our views so for the image view we call it image loading and for the button we'll call it btn change loading state and the last global variable we create is animator set let's go into our on create method and let's initialize all of the variables so image loading find view by id image loading btn change loading state find view by id now let's give the btn change loading state click listener and in here we're going to perform all of the necessary actions to start and stop the animation so first what we want to do is check whether the animator set equals to null if it is we need to initialize it so let's do that we'll use animator inflator load animator we'll give it a context animator loading animator now we need to cast it to animator set now let's call the set target method of the animator set and let's give it the image loading now we'll need to check whether the animator set is running if it is we need to do a couple of things the first will be to change the text of the button to start because the user has pressed the button while the animation is running so it means it wants to stop the animation and the second thing we'll do is stop the animation if the animator set isn't running meaning the animation isn't currently on the user wants to start the animation so we change the btn change loading state text to stop and we'll start the animation now the last thing we need to do is go back to our activity main layout and provide an src attribute to our image view and pass the loading background we created and go back to our animated directory to the file we created and change the repeat mode for the rotation from reverse to restart we can also change the duration for both the scale X and scale Y as I fear it will be a bit fast so we'll change it to 800 and 800 so let's run our app and see what happens
So as you can see, we are seeing a custom progress bar in the middle of the screen and the button we created with the start text in the bottom. So let's start it. As you can see, the progress bar is rotating as well as scaling both X and Y. Let's try to stop it. As you can see, it stopped. Let's run it again. Stop. And that's it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please leave a like and a comment about other videos you want to see. And subscribe if you like the video. I'll see you next time.